This is a historic release for Statistics Canada. The country is getting a clearer picture of Canada's transgender and non-binary populations after including new gender identification questions on the most recent census. Canada is the first country to use census data to collect and share information on gender diversity. In the most recent census questionnaire, people had the option to differentiate their gender beyond only identifying as male or female. These modifications reflect a growing social reality recognition, um, legislative as well, of transgender non-binary people in Canada. Elena Prokopenko, an analyst for gender diversity and inclusive statistics, says Stats Canada made the change to stay in step with other legislation changes, like the 2017 amendment to the Canadian Human Rights Act and Criminal Code, which added gender identity and gender expression to the list of grounds under which hate crimes and discrimination are prohibited. Prokopenko says previous census collections had large information gaps with no data at all about transgender and non-binary populations. We're filling an important data gap that we've heard exists from our data users, from trans and non-binary communities, from academics, and it's a historic moment. We're happy to contribute to uh, the evidence base for Canadian policymaking. The census showed trans and non-binary populations tend to be younger in Canada. For those 15 and older, one in 300 people identified as trans and non-binary, with gender diversity being the highest in those age Age 20 to 24, with one in 100 people identifying as trans or non binary. Nova Scotia, Yukon, and BC had the highest proportions of transgender and non binary people over age 15 among all provinces and territories. You know that you're not alone. And I think that that's such a wonderful feeling. Estevan Cortes Vargas is a transgendered, non-binary individual and says they were happy and relieved to see Stats Canada finally brought in their gender identifiers. They hope it will impact marketing, businesses and Canadian corporations to become more inclusive in their language and expressions around gender going forward. To see that you're going to be reflected, to know that your information is going to be seen as different because our experiences as trans, non-binary people, it is different. We live through layers and layers and and when all of the information we get is is very binary, it's gendered and it's not really identifying the experiences that we have, it just feels very like a, an erasing feeling. Cortes Vargas is optimistic the new data will highlight opportunities to support transgender, non-binary people, specifically when it comes to accessing health care, housing, and mental health services. A full breakdown of the latest census can be found on the Statistics Canada website. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.